Well, controversy this morning over plans to bring semi-pro football to Oklahoma City's Crossroads Mall. This night's Natalie Cruz is live in Southeast Oklahoma City with the new wrangling going on between the mall and the UFL. Natalie, what have you learned? Robin and Lacey, you may remember back in December, the United Football League announced that they were partnering with the Crossroads Mall to bring a brand new stadium right here on the south side of the Mar Park parking lot. Well, kickoff was expected to happen in April, but officials handling that deal saying that that's not going to happen anytime soon. There's some back and forth underway. He claimed he had the money for all 14 stadiums. Um, and that it was a go. Between Crossroads Mall and the head of the UFL, the semi-pro football league involved with bringing the OKC Wranglers to life. Yes, uh, we have a lease agreement with the Crossroads Mall. Uh, Carrier was representing the Crossroads Mall. Commissioner Joe McClendon says the team was supposed to be in the space at the start of February. Um, There's a 20 year agreement. But that's not the case. Kerry Lawrence signed off on that agreement with the UFL. The league says it was ready to go from paper to cash, putting down a $5,000 deposit to show they were serious until McClendon felt something was off. The deposit was supposed to be made and sent over to Kerry Lawrence, who, who conducts business at Crossroads Convention Center. So um, that was a concern. Lawrence concerned herself about when the mall will get the money needed to advance stadium plans. I'm like, okay, well then give us a date. We can expect payment for the deposit. He said, I can't do that for you. I'll pay it. And in fact, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I'm going to deal directly with the owners. So you've been in contact with the owners about yes. everything? Yes, I've been in contact with them about everything. Um, I told um, ownership that I was getting my legal involved. McClendon says we can expect a news release this week regarding the team, and according to him, football will happen this spring. As for what's next, city planners say they've yet to get permits for any stadium plans. And I did reach out to the owners of the mall. They chose not to comment. Of course, we'll be following this story and keep you updated. In Southeast Oklahoma City, I'm Natalie Cruz for Oklahoma Zone News 9.